For decades, we thought we knew the story of how the universe began. It was elegant, it was neat, but was it correct? The tale went like this, after the Big Bang, the cosmos sank into darkness. No stars, no galaxies, just endless blackness that lasted for hundreds of millions of years. Then, at last, the first fragile stars flickered into existence. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to glimpse that very dawn, to catch the faint, ancient light of the universe's first galaxies. But when Webb opened its golden eye, it didn't see a flicker. It saw a firestorm, blazing galaxies, brilliant structures, objects so massive, so intricate, they shouldn't exist, not according to our models. Webb's discovery has forced scientists to confront a possibility few dared to imagine. Our story of the universe might be completely wrong. To understand why, we need to revisit what astronomers expected. Our foundation rests on the standard cosmological model. According to it, the universe began 13.8 billion years ago. In the beginning, it was a seething fireball of energy, far too hot for atoms. Only after 380,000 years did things cool enough for protons and electrons to form hydrogen and helium. This recombination transformed the cosmos into a transparent void. But still, no stars, no light, just the cosmic dark ages. Slowly, gravity gathered that gas into clumps. After perhaps 100 to 200 million years, the first stars ignited, giants hundreds of times more massive than our sun. Short-lived, violent, and brilliant, they seeded the first tiny galaxies, which then merged and grew. The Hubble telescope gave us a glimpse, faint, disordered, toddler galaxies from the universe's first billion years. The picture was clear, a dark age, a slow rise, hundreds of small galaxies slowly building over cosmic time. That was the textbook story, and Webb was supposed to confirm it. Instead, Webb shattered it. Unlike Hubble, Webb is an infrared time machine. As the universe expands, ancient starlight stretches into the infrared. Webb's mirror was built to catch it, to pierce the dark ages and witness the first sparks of creation. In 2022, after decades of waiting, Webb began its watch. Scientists aimed it deep into the void, expecting faint, reddish smudges. The Jade survey, the deepest image of the early cosmos ever taken, was supposed to prove the model right. But what returned was a cosmic bombshell. Instead of fragile infants, Webb saw galaxies that were brilliant, enormous, fully formed just 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang. Some rivaled our Milky Way in size. Imagine looking at a newborn baby and finding a full-grown adult staring back. It defied every rule of cosmic growth. As one researcher put it, the revelation that massive galaxy formation began so early appends what we thought we knew, and the surprises kept coming. Moms 14, the mother of all early galaxies, existed a mere 280 million years after the Big Bang and continues to be one of the farthest galaxies ever spectroscopically confirmed. JADESGSZ140, another candidate, appears to have formed around the same time approximately 290 million years after the Big Bang. According to the old story, a galaxy this young should have been a tiny mess with only a few brand new stars. Instead, it was enormous and extraordinarily bright with a mass of stars equal to hundreds of millions of suns. The question became, how did nature construct something so vast, so quickly? The theme was consistent. The early universe was not a peaceful nursery. It was a factory building huge, complex galaxies at a pace the conventional model could not explain. It seems the universe hit the ground running. The profoundness of these bright early galaxies poses paradoxes that challenge our fundamental comprehension of how we got to this point. So are we wrong about the origin of such galaxies? The fundamental cosmological model is built on a crucial component, dark matter. According to the theory, invisible halos of dark matter collapsed first and then normal gas was pulled into them, forming the building blocks for galaxies. However, there is a speed limit on how quickly gas can cool and form stars. 
These universe-shattering galaxies appear to have converted nearly all their available gas into stars with terrifying efficiency something current models do not allow. This points to a few unsettling possibilities. 1. Maybe our understanding of star formation is wrong. Perhaps the first stars formed much more efficiently than we conceived were writing important sections of astrophysics, too. Or, what if the cosmological model itself is incomplete? Finding these massive galaxies so early shatters fundamental aspects of our models of early galaxy formation. Despite the robustness of cosmology's overall framework, these findings show that it needs significant revision. Beyond their size, the chemistry of these galaxies is baffling. In astronomy, any element heavier than hydrogen and helium is called a metal, and these are forged only inside stars. It takes a full generation of stars to live and die in order to enrich the universe with these elements. Yet, Webb has detected significant amounts of oxygen in galaxies like Jade's GSZ-140 seen at just under 300 million years of cosmic time. For the galaxy to have that much oxygen, it must already have completed at least one full cycle of star birth and death squeezing the cosmic dark ages into an incredibly short window. On the other hand, Webb is also reshaping our understanding of the epoch of reionization the event when light from the first objects burned away the universe's opaque fog. Webb's data suggests that the primary drivers were not only massive galaxies, but also vast armies of tiny dwarf galaxies. So, we have a puzzle numerous small galaxies handled the cleanup, yet a startlingly large number of universe breaker galaxies grew too big, too fast. This contradiction has left theorists in a panic. What we're witnessing may be a potential shift in perspective. The purpose of Webb was to refine a story we thought we already knew. Instead, it has discovered evidence that the introduction itself needs major revision. The very fact that galaxies like Mons 14 exist alongside other universe breakers suggests that galaxy formation was not the sluggish, bottom-up process we once imagined. It seems the universe was capable of rapidly constructing massive, mature structures from the very beginning. For scientists, this isn't a crisis, it's a fantastic opportunity. It indicates that new physics needs to be discovered. The standard version of cosmology is clearly incomplete, and the hints of something deeper come from these impossible galaxies. We are no longer merely pondering whether galaxies existed 300 million years after the Big Bang we are analyzing their chemical compositions in detail. That leap is astonishing. In real time, textbooks are being revised with each new dataset from Webb. The story of the universe is not set in stone. The James Webb Space Telescope hasn't just opened a new window. It has shown us that the house we thought we understood has a very different architecture. What at first saw were not faint embers, but cosmic lighthouses shining from the dawn of time and illuminating the profound gaps in our own understanding. Finally, if you've made it this far, don't forget to comment on what you think about these discoveries. Is our timeline of the universe wrong? Or are we mistaken about how the very first galaxies were born? Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications as we continue, together, to explore the last frontier.